guys, it's Epic Realist. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber. Well, today I wanted to talk about how I gained so many subscribers on this channel. I've had a lot, and I mean a lot, of inquiries about how I gained 5,000 subscribers, now 51,000. I had a lot <clears throat> because, of course, you know, YouTube. YouTube takes forever to get anywhere. A lot of times, um, a lot of people, of course, they're hurt for subscribers. Most people don't even make it any anywhere near close to where I am. Most people don't get past 200 subscribers, depending on what you're talking about, and so on and so forth. So forth. Y'all know if you've been watching YouTube for a good amount of time, even if you have a channel yourself, you know it's oftentimes not easy. So. Hmm. The way, well, let's see, what did I stop? First of all, I'm not a stranger to YouTube. I've been on YouTube a good minute. I have another channel, a hair channel, if you guys don't know, called Curls of Innocence. So I've been on YouTube before. You know, this isn't my only channel. This is my first runaround. Now, that channel does not have as many subscribers as this one. It doesn't. Not by a long shot. But still, I'm not a stranger. I've reached a thousand subscribers before on that channel. I don't really upload there much anymore because I just can't do too much right now. It's a lot of work. But either way, I'm not a stranger to YouTube. So that's the first thing. Second of all, when I started this channel, I believe it was five years ago, probably six by now, I was in a very dark place. I was in a very dark place. And when you start YouTube with a channel, not a channel, with a video, the video that I put up about being molested, when you start off your channel with a topic like that, it just goes BAM. Like, it just grabs people. Um, if that's your first video, I'm not saying my video went viral, it didn't, not at first, <laughs> not at all. But, when that's your first video, that's, that sets the tone for your channel. If you have something traumatic to talk about, I've seen a lot of other people on YouTube do this. They have a traumatic life and that's the first video they put up there because they were in a very dark place and they feel like talking about it. They really need to get it out to the world and explain their story. That was me. That was where I started from that long time ago. So, um, I wasn't really consistent in the beginning because, again, like I said, I was in a very dark place. I wasn't really consistent, but I did get a lot of feedback. I started slowly getting some feedback. My channel took a long time to grow. It took a while for me to get up to 100 subscribers, 200, stuff like that. Actually, you know, I think I was around like maybe 120. When my channel really took off. But um, basically, I just started putting out more videos about my views. Just, you know, um, I could say back to back, but kind of back to back. You know, I wasn't totally regular because remember, I still I was still doing my hair channels. My kids doing their hair because people love those hair videos. I had viral hair videos for my kids. You know, my daughter's hair being extra long and whatnot. Yeah, those are taking top priority at the time. But anyway, I was uploading whenever, as often as I could, I guess. So, so yeah, I was just like any other YouTuber. I, it took a long time for me to gain subscribers. Now, you guys remember that R. Kelly situation? Yeah. Uh, I forgot what happened. Now, it's been so long ago. That whole R. Kelly thing, where R. Kelly pretty much blew up and all his secrets came out about um, him using young girls and all this other stuff, even though we kind of already knew he was doing that. But basically, he, he blew up somehow. In a bad way. Hollywood made him look bad for a lot of things. You know, some stuff came out about him and it was just a big boom of R. Kelly, R. Kelly, R. Kelly. Oh my god, what's R. Kelly doing? What's he up to? And yeah, it was kind of a sad period. And. You know, within that, everybody was kind of researching R. Kelly. R. Kelly was trending everywhere on YouTube. Trending, 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 trending. And around this time, before R. Kelly started trending, my abuse videos were out. My first set, if you guys look at my part, my uh, sexual abuse playlist, I had my sexual abuse in parts. The first few parts were out. It was like one through six or whatever, but whatever how many parts I made. Those first few parts were already out they were already live for about I think it was almost a year those videos were already out 
but I only had about maybe 120 something subscribers so I didn't have that many subscribers at that time but I believe what I believe is what made my channel blow up is the one video that I made where I was talking about um, forcefully being well I'm not gonna repeat it up here because I don't want to get demonetized or anything <laughs> y'all know the video I'm talking about I'm gonna link it here so y'all know what I'm talking about well I'm back with another I'm gonna be doing <clears throat> another part of the previous with me when I wouldn't cooperate. So, my dad, he got startled because my mom called him. She called him. She called his name, you know, loud, sound like she was like half asleep or whatnot. But she called him. So my dad started to do many, many other things. He would try to, um, he tried to penetrate me. That video went so viral. I guess because of the title. Yeah, people have asked me, why you gotta put a title like that? Because I felt like it. I wanted it to, I wanted to be real. I want to be honest. And of course, I want to snag y'all too. Because this is an important topic. Nobody hardly talks about sexual abuse. Nobody wants to talk about it in depth. Nobody wants to be raw and real. But you don't know that's me. You know that by now. That's what I wanted to do. So I did that. And y'all came running. Fast. Now, what really boosted my numbers was the fact that R. Kelly was out being really slandered. I really believe that's what made my video become on the recommended list. Because people were telling me, oh, your video is recommended. I saw you in the recommended. That's why I came to watch you. I love your channel. I was getting that everywhere, being blown up. People talking about, your video was in my recommended. I'm like, huh? My video was in recommended? Oh, shit. Oh, oh. I started to feel like somebody. I started to feel like I'm the shit, you know? <laughs> um, even though, yeah, it's a sad topic, I still didn't expect this much attention at all. I really did not. I was not coming up here, coming on YouTube, expecting to get like a shit ton of money. I wasn't coming up here expecting to get a shit ton of subscribers. I did not know people were going to flock to that video. Like I said, around the time the R. Kelly thing was being blown up, that was around the time that video was being recommended. And I remember, because I believe it was around December. No, wait. It was between October and December 2018, I believe. Yeah, I believe it was around that time. That's when everything was just going, and I was getting subscribers like crazy. I was getting like 100 subscribers a week. It was insane. I couldn't believe it. I was like, whoa, 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 where y'all coming from? Where y'all coming from? What the fuck? Did I do something? And mind you, like I said, the, the first part of my abuse videos were already out. They've been out. They had been out for a year, I believe. It was close to a year. I remember calculating all that because, you know, I'm up on my shit. I watch my analytics. I pay attention to what goes on on my channel. So, like I said, I believe those videos have been out for about a year. And nobody had ever flocked to it before. And I was like, baffled. But like I said, I really believe that what brought y'all in was it being recommended. And it was only recommended because R. Kelly's shit was coming all out. So I guess by him being a pedophile and everybody saw that I put my title the way it was, everybody thought that it was some kind of freaky thing, everybody thought it was like a good thing going on in the title, everybody thought it was some, some freak shit, I'm like, why, why? y'all sick, why would you, <laughs> I mean, not, not saying all of you, that's, that, no, that's not y'all's reason for clicking on it, y'all expecting, y'all not, we're not all expecting to get some kind of freaky shit out of it, I already know that, but some, some guys actually were, some, assholes actually commented on that video and he said something sexy about that video and I'm like you're sick come on I'm talking about molestation here I'm talking about borderline rape this is not this is nothing to get off on you know I've literally had guys talk like that and I blocked their asses so damn fast I literally had that um yeah it was crazy I had so much attention y'all I did not expect to have this many subscribers to this day I just didn't expect it, but I really appreciate y'all. I'm glad y'all came for, from whatever video you saw, whatever video was in the recommended feed at the time. However y'all got here, I'm happy. I'm proud. 
I'm proud because I did that. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just, I'm proud and I'm still baffled how it happened. But that's basically how it happened. I still get people asking me, oh, how did I blow up or what happened or, you know, how'd you get so many subscribers? You know, I think your thumbnails are good and your titles are pretty good, but you know, still, what, what did you do? What is it? There it is. I mean, it, it's really not that hard, y'all. Sometimes when stuff goes on on YouTube, you gotta ride the train, you gotta ride the wagon. And I wasn't even purposely riding the wagon. Like I said, those, that set of videos was already out way before R. Kelly shit blew up. It was out before ye around a year. And I can probably have to look at my analytics and find proof of that to show you if you want to know. But anyway, that's literally what happened. Around the time his shit was blowing up, my shit blew up. My shit started being in everybody's recommended. And I was like, oh wow. Okay, so I was accidentally riding the train. Well, fuck, you good. <laughs> I accidentally rode that bitch into the sunset. And I will not apologize for that. I will not apologize because I got a lot of people's attention and I got a lot of people talking to me and wishing me well and telling me their stories and opening their spilling their guts. Um and just wonderful comments, you know, not so not just bad stuff of course. I've had a lot of great feedback from this channel so far. I've had a lot of wonderful feedback. I've had suggestions. I've had people reach out to me. I've had all kind of stuff, y'all. All kind of stuff. Positive stuff. And I don't regret it, you know? I just, I don't. There's nothing to regret. <laughs> and I'm glad I am the way I am right now, you know? I'm glad I even had the courage to do this, because people come tell me all the time they wish they had the courage to come out with their story. And all I tell them is, maybe one day you will. Just keep believing that you will, maybe one day you will. I never thought I had the courage. I mean, come on, I was a quiet little meek Pisces back in the day. <laughs> Uh, I would have never imagined that I'd be at this point, ever. So, hey, I'm glad. But like I said, that's just what it is, y'all. I accidentally rode that R. Kelly train. I already knew that's what it was, because when the R. Kelly shit died down, that's when my shit died down, too. <laughs> like I said, I was literally getting a lot of subscribers. I don't remember the exact numbers, y'all. It, it was just a lot. It was at one, was one point, I think I was getting like, 50 subscribers a day or every two days. It was crazy. Y'all remember, if y'all had followed my Instagram channel back, my Instagram page back then, y'all remember me constantly talking about it and I was updating screenshots of my subscribers every week and what they look like. Like, oh my god, y'all, thank you. Like, wow, where's the support coming from? Wow. This is nice. This is overwhelming. This is fucking overwhelming. <laughs> But it is what it is, and I'm happy anyway, even though, you know, um, it kind of died down a little bit, you know, my channel, you know, my subscribers, but it's okay, it's cool. For the time being that all y'all came flooding in, it's still good. There's nothing bad about that, I'm not ashamed, um, and I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep pushing as long as I can, you know, and that's just it, so. That's pretty much the rundown of how my channel got the way it is. Along with me being a graphic designer, I design my own thumbnails. I try to do them pretty well. Um, I design my thumbnails. I edit my videos myself. I do my best with that. Sometimes they're, they're not the best. The audio is not the best. Everything ain't always the best because you know I got kids and I got a busy life out here at home and all that other shit. I'm homeschooling. I'm doing a lot. But hey, I do what I can and it's presentable enough. Where I'm satisfied with it, so I'll put it out for you guys. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. And that's just what it is. <laughs> so, yeah. If you guys have any comments, leave them in the comment box below and I'll do my best to get to them real soon. And yeah. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying open minded, and staying real. Always remember to be real. Do not be a liar. I hate liars. I don't think we're going to hate you. Mm -mm. I hope you guys are having a great day, second, hour, minute, month, and week. Thank you for watching. Peace out.